Okay, we have drawn here this, this digestive tract, and we want to look at the structures of the digestive tract. So the first one is the mouth. The next one here is the, the pharynx. The pharynx is the throat. Then the pharynx is going to deliver food to the esophagus. The esophagus takes the food to the stomach. The stomach gives the food to the small intestines. Okay, there are three parts of the small intestines, the duodenum, jejunum, and the ileum. Okay, the jejunum in a human is about 12 inches long. In the jejunum, the jejunum is 2.2 to 2.4 meters long, and the ileum is 3.3 to 3.6 meters long. Kind of give you an idea of the length of each section. Then the ileum is going to give the food or the material to the large intestine. In a human, there are several parts of the large intestines. There's the cecum, the ascending colon, the transverse colon, the descending colon, the sigmoid colon, and the rectum. Okay, let's look at the parts of the stomach. Okay, parts of the stomach, this one right here is the fundus. The fundus is the part of the stomach that is superior to where the food comes into the stomach. Then we want to look at the sphincter associated with this area too. This is a sphincter here called the cardiac sphincter. The cardiac sphincter, the cardiac sphincter is between the esophagus and the stomach. This is the sphincter that's implicated with heartburn that opens up and allows the stomach acids to go into the esophagus and burn the sides of the esophagus, resulting in a burning sensation. That's why it's called heartburn. This region of the stomach here where the cardiac sphincter is, is called the cardiac region. Okay, another region of the stomach is where the food goes from the stomach into the small intestines. And this is going to have the pyloric sphincter. And the region here is called the pyloric region. Okay, from the, from the stomach, food goes into the small intestines through the duodenum, jejunum, and ileum, and then it goes into the large intestines um, and through the, the pathway there, the cecum, the ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, sigma colon, and rectum. We want to look at the sphincters along the track. We named two of them there. We have another one that is here, uh, about right here, between your small intestine and the large intestine. This is the ileocecal sphincter. Okay. And then you have two down here at the rectum. You have one on the inside, it's called the internal anal sphincter. And then the one on the very outside is the external anal sphincter. Okay, all of these sphincters are going to be made up of smooth muscle, except for the external anal sphincter. The external anal sphincter is made up of skeletal muscle. And if a person is potty trained, then they're going to be able to close the external anal sphincter so that they do not defecate um, prior to when they want to. <laughs> That's the structure of the digestive tract.